What's good? So today I'm gonna show you guys how to master a song in Adobe Audition. You got mixing, you got mastering. Some people get them mixed up and think they're the same thing. Well, they're two separate things. And today I'm gonna show you how to master your song in Adobe Audition. All right, so what you see on the screen right now is my mix. Got my vocals, got my background vocals, got the beat in there. This is your mix. So after we finish mixing the song, we're gonna wanna master it. What you would do is export this, export your mix. Then you have the one file, then you add effects to that one file, what you see on the screen, and that's mastering. So today we're gonna master this little song I have. This is a song that I'm currently working on. It's not finished, but it's good enough for now. I don't know where I'm headed. Well, I got some attention. I don't got no directions. Now I'm using Adobe Audition as usual, and I'm gonna be using some Adobe Audition stock effects for mastering. Now, if you're not using Adobe Audition, you guys can still follow the same type of concept. Now, one thing I like to do before I start adding effects is get rid of any like unwanted background noise, any clicks, any pops. Like I was listening back to this and I noticed there was like a little click in the beginning, if I can find it. Well, I got some attention. I don't got no direction. Yeah, right there. So when I say got, you will notice a little click in the background. I don't got no directions. Now Adobe has some really good effects to help get rid of those noises. Let me find it quick. I don't got no direction. I don't got no direction. Just highlight. I don't got no direction. I don't got no direction. I don't got. I don't got. I don't. Noise reduction, restoration, automatic click remover. You got light, medium, heavy. I like to use heavy. This the settings they have on heavy. It works really well. You can play around with the different settings. Personally, I like to use the heavy reduction. But you don't want to highlight your whole entire song. Just highlight the parts that have the clicks in the background. So I'm pretty sure it's gone. I don't got no direction. I don't got no direction. And as you will notice, the clicks are gone. So that's the first thing I will do before I start adding effects. Just go through the MP3, make sure you don't have any clicks in there. If you do have any clicks in there, get rid of them. Just double click the vocal, highlight whatever part has the click in it, go to effects, noise reduction, click remover. All right, so now we want to start adding our mastering effects. The first thing I would do is EQ it. Well, I got some attention. I don't got no direction. I'm so far, so far, so far. The song's on track one, so we want to go to the first track, the EQ. As you guys will see, I already played around with it a little bit. I don't know where I'm headed, but I got some attention. I don't got no direction. I don't know where I'm headed, but I got some attention. I don't got no direction. So now it's not as flat, it has a little bit more life to it. So we're gonna go to our effect rack now and add our first effect, which is gonna be a compressor. We don't want certain levels higher than the others. So this will just kind of even everything out. So we'll go to our dynamics processing and you guys will see stereo rock mix. So we got all these presets. Go down the stereo rock mix. Now rock music's pretty loud and aggressive. That's why I like to use the stereo rock mix because it gives the song a lot of energy. Before. I don't know where I'm headed. Well, I got some attention. I don't got no direction. After. I don't know where I'm headed. Well, I got some attention. I don't got no direction. All right, now there's one more thing I like to add, and that's my mastering effect. So if you go to number two, special, you'll see mastering, click mastering. So we're not using the equalizer because we already EQ'd it with the other equalizer. So we're not using this equalizer. Reverb, I don't really use the reverb, but if you do want to use it, I wouldn't really go past like 10% if that. The exciter, I love to use the exciter. It gives you this like high clarity, crispy type sound. My favorite one is retro. You got tape, retro, and tube. Well, I got some attention. I don't got no directions. I don't got no connections. Nah, I'm so far, so far, so far. The widener, it's gonna give you that like surround sound, stereo effect. I'm keeping mine at zero. I don't use that too often, 
You can also go make it thin if you want to. Then you got your loudness maximizer, and this is another compressor, so I wouldn't really push this too much. And last but not least, you got the output gain. So, EQ, dynamics processing, and mastering. Three effects, and that's really all I use for mastering. Now, I do have a bunch of different plugins, but today I'm just going over Adobe stock effects. All right, so now I wanna play it without the effects, then with the effects, and you guys can see the difference. All right, so before. After. I don't know where I'm headed, but I got some attention. I don't got no direction. Before. I don't know where I'm headed, but I got some attention. After. I don't know where I'm headed, but I got some attention. I don't got no direction. More life. And that's how you master your song in Adobe Audition. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out a little bit. When I first started making music, I didn't master my songs for a few years. I just mixed them, exported the song, and that was that. So if you guys are just mixing your song, exporting it, don't forget to master. Go master your song. But that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We got more tutorials on the way. We got some vlogs on the way. We got some music on the way eventually. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon with another video.